Oh, hi there. Since we're all here, let's talk about furniture like this or that or that. Yeah, as you guys know, I love sketching furniture. I love sort of designing and coming up with uh, different sorts of furniture. Sadly, I can't build them, but it doesn't stop me from coming up with uh, plausible and non-plausible ones. And uh, last week I drew a mix of an outdoor coffee table chair sort of thing. And it had quite a couple of mistakes that my uh, Instagram followers pointed out. So I thought, well, this would be a good occasion for me to show you how I go about trying to fix uh, mistakes that I make, iterate on them, and yeah, just, just in general, how quickly you can come up with new ideas when you're sketching. And if everything goes well, this might lead into the following video as well. So stick around. Okay, so I did this last week and some of my followers on Instagram pointed out some structure, structural issues with this one. So let me quickly uh, duplicate this and whoop, cancel and merge all of this into one layer so I can bring down the opacity. We have two major problems here that were pointed out and one of them I was aware of as well. Uh, it's mainly this hinge, right? So we only have this one contact point and there's a lot of force, especially if somebody's sitting here, there's going to be a, a, a lot of force applied here. And this hinge, it has to be a really durable material to, to withstand that force. And that might defeat the purpose when you're building something like this. So uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle this, but uh, something that's more interesting to me that for some reason I, I didn't notice at all is that if only one person wants to use this, right? So you, you put a lot of force here, this whole thing is just simply going to buckle. So that I that totally, I, I somehow missed that. So that's the main thing that uh, I want to fix now. So one thing that I wanted to point out here for sure, I only make a couple of sketches here and there's a couple of sketches of, of the same solution. That's not how I usually work because usually I take a couple of hours and just sketch out a whole bunch of ideas. But before this video, I was thinking of this solution quite a bit in my head. And also I wanted to make sure that it fits into a video. So I, I didn't want to speed up a million different sketches. I wanted to do everything in, uh, in one go. So that's why you only see this one sketch. But yeah, in general, I make sure to do a whole bunch of sketches, trying to see what works and uh, what doesn't. Actually, I've been thinking about this a little bit. Uh, if we look at it from above, we would have the table like this. So I thought the legs here could reach out and they don't have to go all the way to the end because I, I, for some reason I do like this sort of asymmetry. But just by doing this should give already enough support for the, for the table to not flip one way when we're just sitting on one side. Actually, I think so if, if we look from above and another thing that I, I like it about this little detail is that this also sort of signifies watch out because this is how far or well, not how far because it opens a little bit over it. it would be something like this. I imagine if you open the this 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 chair part, but at least it shows you to not stand there because that can open or that that place is reserved for whoever is going to sit there. So once again, the whole thing like this buckling over is, is, is stopped by me putting this area here. And you could also think, well, I was thinking a little bit because I didn't extend it the whole way. It, it could also buckle sideways maybe, but I I just don't see that happening <laughs> because uh, you would have to push, I feel like from below, on, on, on both sides, you would have to put in a, a quite a quite a strong force to to push it and have it buckle to either of the sides. So I think I think this this will be a fine solution. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this drawing and probably just sketch quickly over, take this away, and just add this sort of uh, footing here, something like this. So it still would be relatively, it, it adds to the weight. That's the one thing that I don't like. On the other hand, it can be bolted even easier if you want to bolt it to the ground through, through because you have a wider array where you can bolt it, bolt it, bolt it. Okay, now let's talk about the, the bigger 
issue at least. I, I find it to be a bigger issue because uh, it asks for a bit more engineering knowledge. So if we look at this, let me switch back to red for this one. We have one hinge here, as I said, and we have this. Actually, oof, I, uh, I don't remember how we used to call these in mechanics. Uh, you have force applied here, right? And here the force is less. I, I tried to counter it already, but there still is going to be a lot of torque here. So this is this is going to pull on this, and all we have here. So let me let me zoom in here. We have sort of this hinge, which is if I uh, yeah there we go. So we had this interior part that belongs to, to the chair that's applying the force. Something like that, Ooh, something like this. And then we have these two that belong to the table in this case. And here we have quite a strong scissoring effect as well. So uh, because we're pushing down on here, this is going to bend. So our um, rod that is within the hinge is going to bend and probably very quickly also just get scissored or caught. Uh, yeah, so we, we have we have quite a bit of problem here. One thing that I see as a solution, we need we need uh, more of this area. So because because here it's sort of laying flat, it takes away from this force. So what what I see as a solution, if I could prolong this a little bit, we still have the hinging area here. And then here we have this, this, this counter force that helps us. What if I also put a counter force here? So if this, this is a hinge, this rotates and this would want to go up. What if I counter it here? So my idea would be, let me bring down the opacity of this one and make this a bit thinner. What if this one uh, has sort of a hole here in the, in the leg? So the table has a hole here where this sort of continues through a little bit and sort of reaches here. So my point would be that we have a connection here and this sort of stops also the chair from rotating higher. And now we don't only have this hinge point that is uh, stopping this from going further. We have all of this area. Still, we're going to have also a little bit of side here, like a side force, but I feel like this is a good solution for now. Uh, so let me see, let me, let me draw it out a couple more times, see how I feel about it. And then we check back again. Same as before, I did spend quite a bit of time yesterday thinking about what would be a good solution for, uh, well, preventing all the scissoring and, and the super strong forces applied to that one place. So I, I didn't just come up with this immediately. And there might also be, probably there will be better ideas than this if you just spend a little bit more time. So always make sure to put in one to a couple of hours uh, of your time and just take a break, maybe walk away then come back later because there's always something brewing in your head. So you might come up with a really, really good idea uh, later on. And one more thing that is, well, interesting, I don't know how interesting it is, but I do like drawing the same thing over and over again. It, it might be looking weird and boring. Why am I drawing the same table in the same position over again? But something in my brain just clicks and I understand things. So if I, I sometimes I draw the same mistake again and I know, okay, let me just redraw the whole thing and I know to fix this one. I, I don't know why I do this, but that is just how my brain processes it. You don't have to do it. It's okay if you find it weird if I do it. It's, it's totally fine, I understand, but that's just how my brain works and that's just how I do. I do waste a little bit of time with it, but that's fine. That's fine because I'm usually okay with, uh, with the end result uh, from coming from this process of mine. All right, so... This is sort of a very quick sketch of what I think might work. Now, what I want to take a look at, I'm 
the aesthetic wise i'm not the biggest fan of just the the, the flat um, bottom part of this table so i want to see if i can if i can cut it here or there and make it a little bit more interesting looking now the, the problem with that will be that we have quite a squarish design and if if i all of a sudden start bringing in these sort of uh well non-square elements or cutting off of it it might look weird although i must say i do enjoy this let me uh where is my let me bring back the layers and let's take a look at this so because that would be like if we look at it from above should we please <clears throat> would be this layer so if we look at it from above it would look a little bit something like this right here there i can actually live with this this is actually not bad <laughs> maybe it's worth trying both sides to see how it might look what it might look like And this actually could work. I do not dislike that, I must say. <laughs> so this, this is why uh, where the value in drawing is, right? You can quickly try out new ideas and just see how they work. And I thought this might not work because it's, it's a slightly different shape language, shape, form language from what, what we established, but I like it. <laughs> So we're going to stick with this one. You can still do the bolting holes here, here, and here. So I think that still works in the end. But uh, this will be our new design. So let me apply all of this to our original image, which is this one. All right, so here we are. This is the end result of my sketch. I decided to put in a wooden structure here just because the iron uh, connecting these two things looked a little bit weird in my opinion and at least this way we have the continuity of the wood and, and i think it works together quite well it is quite a bit heavier i find but um yeah at least at least i don't think it's going to tip over i feel the the torque is quite a bit countered like you can also think if you think of mechanics uh let me come back to this just add a new one so if we're thinking of mechanics like this this much here sort of uh, negates this one so we only have the the weight here and since the weight is mostly if, if we look at the human body is distributed here like half of it we already took off so like this one is negated by this area so i i think this is a relatively uh, good solution at least for this so yeah please tell me if you don't think like i'm, I'm curious if i have people who are uh, still quite in touch with um, engineering and and uh, know how the forces would work in this. I might put this into, uh, not SOLIDWORKS, what was it, Fusion 360. Let's see if we can do some forces in the future, but that is not so interesting for drawing. But yeah, I just, I just wanted to show you how quick you can ideate and, and work out new solutions if you're working on design. And next week, we're going to take this outdoor coffee table thing and we're going to learn what technical drawing or engineering drawing is based on it. So we're going to do some projections and we're going to do a technical drawing that somebody should be able to take and sort of build this thing. So stay tuned for next week. But as always, I do hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button, but also maybe tell me what you didn't like or what's maybe wrong so I can try and fix it. If you would like to see more content like this, you can subscribe to me. And if you really, really like what you see, you can also hit that little bell button so you get immediately notified when a new video is coming out. If you want to support me, there's all sorts of links to my Gumroad and masterclasses in the doobly-doo down below. But as always, the most important thing is that you folks have a great time and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.